Hey guys, so today I have a haul for you and I have a variety of products to show you and talk about. I have some hair products, some nail polish, and some makeup. And I've actually got quite a bit to say about each thing, so let's get right into it. Okay, you may remember in a previous haul video me showing you a shampoo and conditioner I had bought by L'Oreal. And L'Oreal Advanced Hair Care, there are so many lines of this and I am unfamiliar with all of them. <laughs> so I'm really curious. So I had bought the Color Vibrancy, the shampoo and conditioner, and the reason why I did that is because I had decided that the next time I colored my hair I wanted the color to stay as true as possible so I wanted to get something that I liked for color treated hair so I bought these I tried them I liked them and then put them aside because I plan on changing my hair color the next time I color it so I thought there was no point in trying to maintain the color that I have because I'm going to change it anyway, so why waste it? So I just put that aside, but I was at a store one day and I saw, I was looking at some of the other lines that they have and I saw this and I got curious. This one is called Total Repair 5 and it's the Restoring Shampoo and Conditioner and this is supposed to be for damaged overworked hair and if you've been coloring your hair once a month for 35 years then your hair is definitely damaged and overworked so I got curious and I tried this too and I thought it was fine it actually the results of it in terms of the way my hair felt and all that sort of thing was very similar to the other one so I really didn't see much difference between the two there's another one f that is a line for frizzy hair and I'm curious about that one as well so at some point I might pick up the shampoo and conditioner from those lines too um, but I don't really want to use these right now I've been using just things that I already had because I had I already had a lot of shampoos and conditioners that I wanted to use up and I did in fact use up all of the conditioners that I had except for one bottle that is in the shower right now that I'm working on but I still have quite a few shampoos to use so I'm going to be using those over the next few weeks until the next time I color my hair just to try to use them up and then I'll use the L'Oreal ones exclusively. But I also saw a hair styling treatment type product that I was curious about and this is from the L'Oreal Advanced Hair Care Sleek It line which is supposed to make your hair smooth and sleek and this is the Frizz Vanisher Cream it's supposed to leave your hair not frizzy for three days and it says silky touch humidity resistant fiber lock tech and it looks like this and this is a cream it comes in this type of dispenser and when you push this down it's just a cream that comes out it isn't a foam it's a cream and I've been using this the last well, I washed my hair yesterday and I used this and I liked the results of it and then I went back and looked at my hair in the mirror later on and it looked a little frizzy to me so I put a little bit more in. That was the mistake that I made <laughs> because what happened was then it was too much and my hair got greasy and so I should have just left it alone. So. If you buy this and try it, resist the urge to go back and add more later on because one pump of cream is actually the right amount for somebody like that has the amount of hair that I do that's like a mid-length hair. So I do really like this and um, I have a lot of these kinds of treatment styling type products. It says to put it in and then blow dry your hair. I don't blow dry my hair but I don't really feel like you have to blow dry your hair in order to get this to work. It does 
say something on here about working with the heat from the heat styling, but um, I found from past experience that with any of these kind of products, you don't have to dry your hair or flat iron it or anything like that in order to benefit from that type of product. So I do feel like it does make a big difference in controlling the amount of frizz in my hair because my hair in its natural state is so unbelievably frizzy. It's partially genetic and it's partially because of being damaged from coloring it. Speaking of which, if you saw that video that I posted showing you the pictures of when I was 17 years old and talking about my hair color and how I wanted to change it and what I wanted to change it what I wanted to change it to I've changed my mind about the shade range that I was looking at and I decided that I'm going to go I'm I'm going to go warmer but I'm going to go a little bit darker than the pictures that I showed you the ones that I showed you were a medium blonde a medium warm blonde well, I've decided that when I change the color, and I have to wait a few more weeks because you can't just keep coloring your hair, coloring your hair, and not going to think there's going to be repercussions from that. It really damages it. So anyways, I decided instead of going a warm medium blonde, I'm going to go a warm dark blonde. And this is what I decided on. I picked this up over the weekend. This is Clairol Natural Instincts Ammonia Free Natural dark blonde and that's what it looks like so it's sort of uh, it's a dark blonde that has a reddish golden tone to it and I think that this is it's like what my hair used to be before I started coloring it but a, just a little bit lighter because I didn't want to go all out and change it to that degree right off the bat but I think if I had used one of the ones that I had shown you the picture of, I don't think I would have liked it because to me it's not like as pretty of a color. The lighter shades aren't as pretty of a color as the deeper ones are. So this is what I'm going to use. And this is, um, this is ammonia free. It says it lasts 28 shampoos. Proven, healthier looking, radiant color. This line has recently been redone. So all the shade names and numbers have changed. This has aloe, vitamin E, and coconut oil in it. And one thing that's important to note about these types of hair products that are ammonia free is when they remove the ammonia from the normal hair color formula, they have to replace it with something. Otherwise, the color won't penetrate the hair shaft and it won't hold on, it won't stick. So what they normally replace it with is something called, let's see, I just read this on here, uh, ethanolamine, and it's also known as a series of letters. Well, I did some research and I read this really interesting article that was written by a chemist and she was explaining the difference between hair color that has ammonia in it and hair color that has this ethanolamine in it. And basically she did all kinds of experiments to figure out which one was more or less damaging, which one was more effective, and she said that this ingredient, the ethyl <laughs> ethanolamine, why is that so hard to remember? Um, she said that this was much, much better for your hair, less damaging than ammonia is. And, um, I mean, she's a chemist and she explained in technical terms why this was. And, um, it has to do with them wrapping this chemical around the m molecules of healthy ingredients to make it better for your hair. It was really interesting and I wish that I could just post a link to it, but I, you know how when you're surfing the internet sometimes you go from place to place to place and then you don't bookmark it and you don't really even remember how you got there in the first place, so I can't post a link to the article, but it was really interesting and 
it was from a scientist standpoint so it made sense to me when I read it so I decided to go with something like this instead of a traditional hair color that has ammonia in it so this is what I will be using when I color my hair in another three weeks or so so I'm really excited to try that it's number seven dark blonde in Clairol natural instincts okay so those are all the hair products that I bought then I picked up a nail polish because after I did that nail polish video recently I was inspired to buy yet another nail polish that I don't need and I got Maybelline color show in neutral statement and this is along the lines of those other nail polish shades that I was talking about that I prefer to wear in the summer such as Essie Saint Tropez or Essie Topless and Barefoot those types of colors that are like a light tan so I wanted to try this so when it comes to nail polishes I like to think a season ahead because when you go to look for the colors that you want to wear during that season you can't get them because everybody else is buying them too so even though it isn't even spring yet I'm already thinking about something that I want to wear in the summer so I got that while I could because probably wouldn't be able to get it once summer was actually here and then let's see what else did I get I picked up a lipstick that I used to have prior to a purge every once in a while I go through my makeup and I purge the things that are old and I had purged this lipstick a couple purges ago and I missed it I really missed it it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now it's NYX's creamy round lipstick in the color Thalia and it's number 529 it's a beautiful mauve shade and I it, it's one of those my lips but better colors or at least it is for me this is very close to the color of my natural lips except it's deeper and more intense and very flattering I think for anyone who has the that type of color lips to start with and it just goes with so many different eye looks I mean I can't imagine anything that this wouldn't look good with but I love the formula of these lipsticks I have T Rose which is also a repurchase I used to have tons and tons of these but they got purged out during like I said a purge a couple years ago and I was thinking about the shade the other day and I thought you know NYX is coming out with so many new lines of lip products and they can't keep all of them because that's what happened with the uh, does anybody remember that line of lipstick they had called um, oh gosh I cannot think of it um, let's see I've got one right here does anybody remember this line what was it called is it written on here black label lipsticks does anybody remember the black label lipsticks I got one of these when it ended up at Nordstrom Rack and I really like this formula and I didn't realize I should have realized because when things go to Nordstrom Rack that means that they're on their way out but um, it was the first time I had ever tried one of these and I got it in Dusty Rose which is very similar to this lipstick that I'm talking about same type oh the Sun just went completely behind a cloud oh here it comes again <laughs> so distracted by that um, these two lipsticks are very similar the NYX black label lipstick in Dusty Rose is very similar to the creamy round lipstick in Thalia and you know what let me swatch it for you okay so that's Thalia but my point is that NYX is coming out with so many new formulas of lip products that I was thinking if they discontinue their creamy round lipsticks because it wouldn't surprise me if they did I mean I haven't heard anything but it wouldn't surprise me if they did I didn't want to not have this lipstick so that's the Leah and then just since I was just talking about it the black label lipstick in Dusty Rose is kind of similar so you know very similar but the 
The uh, Black Label one is lighter and brighter, and the Thalia is deeper and darker. But they are still mo both mauves and both similar. But yeah, when I first discovered the Black Label lipsticks, I was like, oh my god, I love this formula, I need to get more. And that was it, you know, they were on their way out. So I like the Creamy Round lipsticks, and just in case they get rid of it, I've got T Rose, I've got the Leah, those are my two favorite shades. The others, you know, I can live without, but at least now I have the two that I like the most. So I wanted to pick that up. Then I was, uh, oh, by the way, I've got um, all these hair products, nail polish, lipstick, all those things I got at Target. Not that it matters, but sometimes people like to know where I found something. Then I was at a store that you probably don't have where you live, unless you live in Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, and New York. I believe those are the states that have this store, but it's it's a northeast type store. It's called Ocean State Job Lot. Not to be confused with Big Lots. It is that's a different store chain. <laughs> this is Ocean State Job Lot and they basically get closeouts of things. It's very similar to Big Lots in terms of the products that they carry and their price range and that sort of thing. So we were looking for something that was not makeup at that store and um, because they have all kinds of different things there. They have food items too. So we were looking for a specific food item that we were having trouble finding at other stores. And I said to my husband, oh, I got to look at the makeup because I hadn't been there in a long time. And they sometimes they have nothing. It's all crap. You know, it's all like opened and old and separated and disgusting. But sometimes they have a lot of good stuff and they had a lot of good stuff this time. And I was having a hard time deciding what to get because they had so many good things. But what I decided on, because I didn't want to get a lot because this stuff is all, you know, Okay, so my camera cut out, and uh, it's actually going to do it again. <laughs> so I was talking about Ocean State Job Lot, and the first thing that I decided to purchase from there was Rimmel Match Perfection Blush. I had seen this many, many times when it was out in stores before it got discontinued, and picked it up and looked at it and thought, ooh, I don't know, I don't know, and I always put it back. Well, I'm glad that I did because now I got it at Ocean State Job Lot for only $2.50, so that was a real bargain. I got it in the shade number two, which is light slash medium, and the way I have it on today, and the way that I used it is I just swirled all the colors together. You can use them individually if you want to, but when it comes to these multicolored products, I just like to swirl them together. So this is sort of a, it's like a natural flush of color. Um, it's, if I had to throw it into a category, I would say nude, but to go beyond that, I would say it leans peach. Now it it looks a little powdery and splotchy when you do swatches but when you apply it on your face with a brush it goes on fine so yeah it's I guess you would have to put that in the peach category but I don't know it to me it looks more like just a natural flush of color I don't yeah, see, it really doesn't, it doesn't swatch well at all. It's not that pigmented. I would not advise anyone who didn't have light skin to buy this, which is probably why they took it off the market, because um, I guess from what I read, these blushes aren't that pigmented. But for somebody with light skin, sometimes pigmented blushes are more trouble than they're worth, so you actually want something that's not pigmented. But I really, really like this on my skin tone, and so that's Rimmel Match Perfection in Light Medium from Ocean State Job Lot. Now the camera's going to cut out again, and I'm going to have to insert another piece of footage from the other thing that I purchased there. My camera just shut off because I've been talking for too long. Um, so I was showing you and talking about the Salon Perfect Brow Defining Powder in Taupe. 
If I'm going to be coloring my hair several shades darker than what it is now, I'm going to need a new brow product in a different shade and so you can never have enough brow uh, products because you never know when you're going to change your hair color. So basically this is just, um, they still have this at Walmart but I think it's in maybe slightly different colors or packaging or something like that. This was only a dollar fifty and it was something that I've seen before that I was curious about. So it's just a taupe brow powder and if it doesn't work out for that these kind of things make great eyeshadows and who doesn't have enough taupe eyeshadows in every type of taupe shade that there is so so there it is swatched so I thought that you know when I swatched it on my hand I thought that was pretty promising but I really won't know what exactly I need for a brow powder until my hair is the color that it's going to be after it's been colored. Alright, so <laughs> so that's my haul people and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, thanks for watching.